What is going on everyone? Welcome guys to a brand new Clash of Clans video up on the channel. That's right guys and today I wanted to see what's going to happen when you remove the ninth clash anniversary cake. That's right guys, but before I hop into doing that, I wanted to quickly say that we did completely finish upgrading the Electro Dragon last night, and I actually did start upgrading the clone spell. I don't know how you guys feel because I know I said I was going to do it on stream or on recording, but I didn't actually do it because I just wanted to hop right into it. It was an 11 and a half day upgrade, so guys, I figured why not, so I jumped right into it, started the upgrade, and and it's already on its way to being a level 5 clone spell thank goodness because it's it's such a long upgrade but for now guys let's see what happens when you remove the ninth clash anniversary cake so 30 seconds on the clock and we can see around the map that I do have more of them so I'm not really too worried about actually losing them I like to keep one or two of these separate little um, decorations basically around the map so that's why I have the lucky shrub, I have the fireworks stash, I have the Christmas trees from different years, even this guy right here, that's the oddest looking Christmas tree I have, but let's see guys, four seconds left, let's see what happens. Wow guys, that gave me 99,000 gold. Alrighty, well the one thing that I do know is that I have four of these shovels to actually move some decorations around on the map. My base is looking so crowded, so cramped. Guys, I need to change this. I really, really need to change this, and I'm going to very, very soon, I promise. But for today's video, guys, I wanted to upgrade some stuff around the map, see what we can get done, and see what we can get done for the future videos as well, because of course, we need some stuff to do around here. We have basically 12 days left until our town hall is level 12, so until then, we just gotta finish upgrading what we have around our map and our base. So let's go see in the treasury. We do have some stuff over here in the treasury. I'm actually going to collect all of my loot really quick and let's go see so we have the barracks which is going to be done in a day the other barracks is going to be done in a little under a day and a half the archer queen and then the town hall now the archer queen and town hall i don't really care about they are such a long way away from being fully done but for now guys we can see about starting another upgrade let's see what we got here we have the cannon we have the gold mines, which are going to be six of them. Those we are going to definitely have to work on. The Grand Warden, he's going to take 8.8 .8 million elixir to upgrade, as well as the Archer Tower and the walls. I keep clicking it and it's not working, but guys, we're going to have to definitely work on these walls. We have 221 walls to get that are 2 million elixir or gold each. That, guys, right there is basically going to be about 442 million resources that's a crazy amount when you see that i only have five million gold and two million elixir we need 442 million that's crazy so we do have a little bit of gold we do have a little bit of elixir so why not try and upgrade a couple more of these walls now this is going to take forever guys but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use up some of my gold here a little bit more of the gold we still have 1.8 million gold and we still have a pretty solid amount of elixir so what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this right here and uh, we're just gonna pop that right back down guys i love the look of these walls they are so clean but now we need to get some more resources let's hop right back into another match and i'll see you guys when i'm there Alrighty guys, so it looks like we did actually find a match pretty quick here. Now I immediately noticed the Inferno Towers, and these are multi-shot Inferno Towers. So that does not scare me as much as it would have if they were single-shot Inferno Towers. We're going to actually hopefully do pretty well here, but we're going to immediately put down one golem on each side of the map. I'm going to put my one P.E.K.K.A there, one P.E.K.K.A to take out the Archer Queen. I'm going to put another two up here. Follow it up by all of my party wizards who are hopefully going to be defended basically by those tanking units. I'm going to put another packet down over here. We're then going to use a clone spell on this side. I'm mostly going for the right side right now. That's the side that I really, really do care about. We're going to put down a couple archers as well. Heal spell for these troops up here. Rage spell, another heal spell because we need them to do some work right now, boys. We're going to put a rage spell right down here. Follow it up by the Barbarian King as well. Rage him up. We're trying to get that easy 50%, guys. And we already got it, but now we're just working at getting some loot here. Seeing what our troops can do. 
We didn't get a crazy amount of loot because this this base did not have a crazy amount of loot. But we did actually make it into the base a little ways. So I'm going to end it right there. Save my Barbarian King a little bit. We didn't get crazy loot like I said. But I do enjoy this class setup. So the next class setup that we actually do have is 4 Electro Dragons and 35 Party Wizards. That's a really, really cool setup, guys, because it's going to have some air units as well as the ground party wizards. We also did get the Super Potion, which we're going to pop right over there into our Town Hall. Going to collect that Dark Elixir really quick. Now we are shield. Now our shield is 55 minutes left, but the next attack we do is going to bring it down to 30 minutes no matter what. We might as well actually get started on an upgrade here. Should I do the gold mine? That's going to be a three and a half day upgrade. We're going to go right into it, guys. Upgrade the gold mine. And we're also going to have some gold saved, hopefully for tomorrow. Once that uh, barracks is done in 23 and a half hours, we're going to upgrade a few more wall segments, hopefully. I need to collect as much gold and as much elixir as possible before then. So guys, let's train up some units here. Cheap units, preferably. So we're going to hop right into it, train up as many of these baby dragons as possible, and then hop right into another match, and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Alrighty guys, this seems a little bit unfair, but 800,000 elixir is really, really appealing to me right now, so we're just going to hop right into it, putting down a couple of these troops right around the map just to easily get me some... Uh, some gold, some elixir, pop a electro dragon up there. We're going to put another one on this side, follow it up by a couple party wizards. We're then going to attack a couple of these outer buildings, try and get a couple of them done with. Gonna put another electro dragon there and another one probably right up at the top. Follow that up so we can actually get some of this loot. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yes. Easy peasy. Look at that, look at that. Now I don't really care about actually getting the 50% on this base. I more so care about just fully getting all the loot that I can. Now I'm going to see if these wizards right here, come on buddy, you got it, you got it. No, he was not able to take it out and that's all right. I do love that when the electro dragon is destroyed, he basically just completely turns into a lightning attack, raining down hell all around the base in that small segment. 44% guys, but 700,000 elixir and 480,000 gold. So worth it in my opinion. We need to start farming though guys, so we meet, we might actually need to drop down into another area of the leagues. We might have to drop down probably to gold league and see if we can't find some loot bases. So guys, fun stuff. Definitely a crazy video just jumping around. I'm so sorry. I feel like I was just rushing everything into this video, but I had a lot to talk about and a lot to do for the video. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please be sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to comment your opinion and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. As always, I love you all. Have a good one. Peace.